Good morning, you guys. Um, it is Monday morning, and I am just like sitting down and doing like my normal like Monday routine things. Um, every Monday, I sit down and I like do my finances, and then I usually edit a blog, um, and then I usually will also edit a couple of videos. Um, it was gorgeous this weekend, like the most perfect like getting ready for a summer weekend ever. Um, hence why I'm sunburned. <laughs> I was not anticipating to be sunburned. I was wearing sunblock and I was wearing um, face makeup like with SPF in it. So I didn't think I was gonna get sunburned, but I did. I'm sitting down and I'm like trying to edit a video for you guys and I realized, I was like, you know what? I was kind of sporadic. I was like all over the place this weekend for like, Recording I just was so excited about everything that we were doing and I organized my bathroom um, And I organized the garage a little bit and then I got the camper cleaned out um, And I just placed like a $300 grocery order For like stocking my camper for the summer because um, we're about to bring that out to the lake for the summer um, here on Friday um, So anyway, just like I was all over the place with my recording So I was like, you know what? I think for today because I wanted to upload a video for you guys for today I would like catch you up to date and like tell you what's going on um, I did not upload yesterday at yesterday as you guys probably saw um, And that's because we were outside just like doing a lot of stuff, but also also <laughs> The Lamb Before Time is in the background and Kaya like loves the music. Um, anyway, so on Friday night, we, Mike came home from work on Friday, Mike came home and he's like, I don't want to stress you out, but we have a really big problem. Like instantly stressed me out and I was like, okay, like what are we dealing with? What's happening? Um, the spigot on the um, west side of the house, um, we had a really bad cold snap a couple of weeks ago. It was warm, it was like 60s, 70s, and then it dropped to like 30s. Um, so we'd already been using that spigot and because of that um, cold snap, the pipe inside the house froze and burst open. I started editing the vid this video, so this is like future me um, editing this video and realized that for some reason my microphone went like all funny and you couldn't hear anything I was saying when I was talking about um, like like what happened in our basement. So anyways, long story short, in a snapshot for you guys, um, you heard me talk about the spigot freezing outside, um, but after that, so after the pipe burst and froze, um, it leaked all like gallons and gallons of water. So we, uh, like we used it like three times um, and the water pressure was goofy and that was the only way we were able to tell right away because nothing was like showing a leak anywhere. Um, immediately so anyway so gallons of water were pouring into our wall cavity thankfully only like two sections of the wall like were being filled with water um, and then there was like something that stopped it from leaking anywhere else like there was like a seal there um, but it did like leak from like the ledge um, there's like a ledge in our basement it leaked from there and like all the way like along the perimeter of the basement um, it got wet so we had to tear out like all of the rug pad um, tore out a bunch of the ceiling um, we have more ceiling to pull out as well pulled out walls um, insulation so later on in this video you guys will be able to see that because I take you downstairs and show you what happened um, anyway so that's what's been going on in our house this weekend um, also we set up this bad boy over the weekend um, that was that took us probably like four hours to set up yesterday it, it took quite a while um, but I got that set up well I <laughs> Mike would kill me if he heard me say that. Um, Mike put the trampoline up. I assisted. Um, and Kaya played in the back backyard um, with our backyard neighbors. It's really hard to like socially distance with a four year old. Um, especially like when the neighbors are playing like, um, what's it called? The Connect Four yard game. She wanted to play so, so bad. But anyway, um, yeah, it was fun. It was a really fun weekend. Clearly I am burnt, but um, I'm just, throwing this video up for today just to like update you guys let you know where we're at with everything um and then on thursday i will have um 
I would like to upload on Thursday my, um, I have a recipe for a jalapeno soup. Um, so I wanna do like a clean with me um, and cook with me because that soup is so good, you guys. It's so good. Um, and then on Sunday, as I, I always like wait to debut my big videos on Sundays, um, I wanna do that bathroom. I know you guys have been waiting forever, but that bathroom renovation and, uh, or renovation reveal and like the organization and deep clean video for the bathroom. Um, I have the organization part done, but I haven't finished the deep clean part. So that is what I am going to finish for today, um, is I'm going to clean the rest of the bathroom and then um, I need to fold a bunch of the kids' laundry and go through like all of their summer clothes. Um, literally every single piece of our clothes clothing is like in baskets because I haven't put the laundry away in like a month it's been it's been a crazy month May has been has been um, has thrown us some wrenches I don't want to say it's been a bad month because um, I feel like we can always learn from these like life experiences that we go through so I don't want to sound negative but um, we can definitely learn from May, is what I'll say. And I'm ready to have the summer go in and be the lakes and um, get through orders and have, we have lots of DIYs coming for you guys over on our M&M channel, which I am so excited about. Um, we're doing um, our camper renovations slowly but surely this summer, so a lot of the renovations over on the M&M channel will be, um, will be camper renovation videos and like how to put up your own um, backsplash, how to paint your camper, how to like paint your cabinets, how to wallpaper, um, lots of really fun things. So anyway, I am like very crunchy um, and sunburnt. So I'm gonna go put some lotion on. Hope you guys enjoyed this little one take video um, and we will see you on Thursday for um, that cook and clean with me, that jalapeno soup, oh, so good. So good. Um, anyways, if you have any video suggestions for this summer, leave it down below. I know you guys have been waiting for my spring clothing haul, but I think I'm just yeah, going to put it in the middle of a- Are you ready to go outside um, right now? <laughs> I'm gonna put that, yeah? We're gonna go outside soon, yeah. Very soon, I just have to upload this video. She's like ready. Kaya, come show me your face from yesterday. This girl had like layers and layers of sunblock on and she still got sunburned. <laughs> Was it so fun playing outside though? Yeah. Yeah, I know, it was so fun. I know, mommy looks about the same. Oh, we were outside all day. I'm feeling kind of like a dried raisin. How about you? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah? Oh, for goodness sakes. Actually, before I end the vlog, um, I'm going to show you what the basement looks like. Okay, so it is like really, loud down here so I hope you guys can hear me but um <laughs> this is the carpet it's just a wreck this is our fan this is like the last portion of um the basement that we need to dry out um and then this is like we like shoved rugs and like like whatever trying to get all this stuff out of the way um and then here's a garbage bag full of like materials we pulled out but um we just have planks like underneath like drying out the carpet come here Kai Okay, well, this is the basement. Isn't it ridiculous? Oh my gosh, everything is like piled in the middle. Um, my poor sister and her boyfriend, oh my gosh, they stayed in this room and like witnessed this ha this happen like while we were, or while they were staying here for the week. But um, anyway, just an absolute disaster. So the water leaked like all along this perimeter. Um, so I'll show you guys. It's like it's all dry now, but um, underneath here, like, see how we cut the um, the like carpet padding out. Um, we need to get that. Uh, these boards are just like so that like this carpet isn't touching that ground. And more. okay, my battery keeps dying. <laughs> I'm trying to trying to finish this update for you guys. Um, so, anyways, um, this is what it's looking like. So right now. Um, and down here, like the um, the water like seeped. So what happened is up here in this corner, this is the pipe. This is the sob that like broke and burst, and then it was leaking into here and here 
thankfully it stopped here. Um, there was like, there was like a seal here that prevented it anymore. And actually the water was going between this poly for the insulation, which the only, only reason why I know so much about insulation is because my husband um, helps manage an office and like does the scheduling for an insulation company in town. Um, anyway, this um, like between the sheetrock and the poly, that's where all the water was going. Um, unfortunately, it did pool up and it did seep into the insulation on the bottom portion. So Mike pulled out like all of that insulation and then cut out the sheetrock. Um, and then what was happening, the, like how we got on the floor is, so it was like coming, we have like this ledge, like this is what it looks like normally is like this ledge. And it like came over this ledge and was like pooling up here and it like leaked here. There was so much water that it leaked from here and like all the way here. And like this ledge was all wet too. Like all of this was wet and then here and then it like even went into our crawl space and then like around to like our stairs over here. Um, thankfully everything in the crawl space, um, we were prepared for um, any kind of flooding because the sump pump is also down here and sump pumps are known to like overflow and flood. So we had everything in plastic bins in there. So it's good to go. Um, but this wall cavity, everything is nice and dry. Um, there was no water damage to the bottom sheet rock. So we got pretty lucky and like where the carpet was wet, like the sheet rock down here is actually like up a little bit. So it didn't flood enough for the sheet rock down here to get affected. Um, just like this wood trim, but we dried it out in time. So the wood trim wasn't even affected. So we caught it pretty quick and avoided like even more damage, but it just looks so bad. We still need to, we're gonna carry this line down because um, this section of sheetrock in the ceiling was also damaged um, and it might even be like, you see where this line is? We might even need to pull it out to here. So, but we're just gonna pull all this, beadboard it, and then we're gonna do shiplap. And Kaya's begging to go out on the trampoline, but yeah, that's what the basement's looking like. So, that is what it's looking like right now at my house. It is a disaster. I brushed my hair and like, sorry, I like literally just rolled out of bed. But I brushed my hair, brushed my teeth, put lotion on my face. <sighs> I just look like a mess. Crunchy, hot mess. Okay, I'm gonna edit this video for you guys so you can see like all these updates of like what's going on. Um, and then I'm going to finish um, packing up the camper and doing the laundry and going through the kids' clothes and I'll be recording all of that as well. So stay tuned for Thursday when I upload our next update in regards to the basement and my cooking clean with me. Okay, all right, I'll see you guys on Thursday.